Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Uh, welcome to Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for April 8th to April 14th, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Capricorn Star Sign and uh, for that reason the reading itself is going to resonate in a different way. And it's going to relate to different stuff for uh, every single different uh, Capricorn. So if you do want, however, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, with the situation itself or with you, that is a uh, subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being said, going to the Capricorn weekly reading here, the first card, which is marking the topic of Capricorn's week, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to the situation that you can take, that is going to be the Death card followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation. That is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, that is going to be the Four of Cups. So once again, we do have the Tree of uh, Swords, followed by the, uh, the Ace of Swords, excuse me, followed by the um, Death card. After that, this is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. And the last one, this is going to be the Four of Cups. So Capricorns, uh, it does look like that this uh, this week, uh, for one or another reason, uh, you are going to uh, turn out the tides. Um, that is expression in my uh, in my country, where you traverse a, a, a let's say poignant situation or not very beneficial situation into a something that you can extract a lot of benefits from either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So let's start with the first card, which is the uh, topic of the week. That is going to be the Ace of uh, Swords. So the Ace of Swords does point that you are going to have a, a very clear mentality. If you want to take it, you are going to have a clear men mentality of how you gotta, how you got to do things and what do you want to come out of your endeavors. Additionally to that, the uh, Ace of Swords tells us that you are going to feel very strong in spirit throughout this week. And that clear-headed mentality and being strong in spirit will help you to make a very well-found judgment. The decision is far from being done yet, but you will be able to place in an accurate diagnosis upon what, where you are finding yourself at and what is possible to be done. And from there, you know, it's, it's the next logical step one to do is to start counting, you know, the possibilities and counting one's blessings and as well, you know, figuring out what one is going to do. Now, as, as, as far as the judgment goes that you are going to place, that will also de be defined by either slowly emerging or all of a sudden an insight that has come to you. And uh, that could be associated, for example, with uh, when one wake up one morning and they have completely changed vision. Let's say you cut off that person for several times, you denied them and so on and so forth. And one, one morning you just wake up and you say to yourself, my God, I got to give that man a chance. That just for example, you know. Or it could be that you are with uh, your wife for so much time and one morning you wake up and you decide that you can't go further with this. So it's kind of like you, you can expect that throughout this week uh, to have those kind of sudden insights. And these insights are going to traverse your judgment upon the situation in a good way for you, but for the peripheral circumstances as people involved in the situation itself, it, for them, it could be in a bad way. So uh, the Ace of Swords, uh, through these judgments, you know, and through this, uh, through that mentality and strong spirit, it is likely that you are going to start denying failure. 
in a sense of that, let's say you do value your marriage a lot, or it is, is you do value your family above everything else, but your marriage is on the rock. So through these insights that you will have to um, secure your marriage, that will provoke you doing some drastic measures, which will help you or they are to manifest in a way that it will secure your marriage. So the, the way that I can des describe it best here is that um, you will no longer allow things in your environment to be decided by the chance of the circumstances, but instead you are going to take those things and you are going to perform as best as you can in order to secure your foreseeable, um, foreseeable future. It's a drastic, and it usually, like I said, it's involved. It involves a drastic measures, drastic approach, ultimatums as well, where you're gonna place in uh, to your husband or to your boss, and so on and so forth. It's just you are to recognize that the situation cannot go any further like this, you know, and you will have to take some measures, like I said, in order to improve it. Uh, in a very seldom way, that could as well be related to an opportunity which you are not seeing and through a, a sudden insight, you know, or a um, kind of like a, a change of mentality here to toward the better. Uh, you are to foresee that opportunity, but in that case, it will require some quite brave moves from your behalf in order to uh, take advantage of this opportunity. The accompanied card that is going to be the five of uh, wands and the formation here, it is a an active supporters and the five of wands is only a um, confirmation that we are talking about traversing a, a situation of failure into a, a situation of success. That being said, um, if, like I said, if your marriage is on the rock, definitely this week you can fix your marriage. If your career is on the rock, you can definitely fix your career throughout this week, but you gotta follow those insights that you do have. If you feel, if you think, it is not about feeling, you know, but if suddenly you figure out that something needs to be done, you shouldn't think much about it, but just do it, all right? And it, like I said, it is not about feeling or emotions. It's all about those uh, those insights and logical explanations upon what the situation requires in order to uh, in order to sustain it and in order to uh, solidify it. Uh, as a mi minor arcanus, um, you may decide not to do so. It's it's completely in your uh, authority here. If you do so, if you decide not to not to uh, traverse the situation from poignant into a perspective one then obviously the situation is going to deteriorate and you will have to move along without it. But the point here, guys, is, is that you can save this what you hold on to, which is going in a bad way, if there is such a thing. The uh, second card here, which is the negative approach to the situation, death card, that card is really obvious with the follow-up. It does point to that you have to uh, cut ties with the past in a sense of, you know, for example, your marriage isn't going on very well. You completely forget about fixing your marriage and just move on to a new direction. So that is something that you should not do uh, <clears throat> throughout this week. And it's really only what the dead card points. I mean, you should not lose faith or hope for the um, fixture. Is it fixture really what, what I have to say? You should not lose hopes that the, the, the thing can get better the accompanied card that is going to be the moon the formation here it is a passive uh, passive supporters um, so with the moon card uh, it, if you decide that is if all right so if you decide not to fix your situation then the moon card here points that your future is going to be very unstable it, it simply cannot be predicted Okay, so uh, instead of uh, going and um, instead of uh, making this risky bet here of uh, moving away or moving, you know, cutting ties uh, with your past, it will be best to try to fix it. This is the this is what these couple of cards in the negative positions in the negative position are 
um, are pointing. Now, the thing with the death card is that one may be very, uh, how can I place it, very afraid to take steps forward. Um, because uh, one may think that once they do steps forward to fix their situation, you know, to fix your marriage, for example, uh, they could do even bigger damage. That is one thing from the death card where uh, whatever change happens, uh, it will be irreversible. Uh, that is just a, a, an impression here, especially with the moon card, because the moon card points, guys, that you are going to have that uh, boosted imagination. And uh, as in a negative position, this imagination is going to be more toward the negative side in the sense of that you are going to start believing more in the doom and gloom rather than into the uh, positive unfoldment of one situation. So the week itself or taking advantage of this window of opportunity to uh, fix your career, to fix that project, to fix your marriage and so on and so forth by following these insights that you are going to obtain throughout the week, you know, uh, will require as well, as well a lot of courage or a great portion of courageous actions on your behalf, which is kind of like the definition of uh, taking those drastic measures, uh, which I said. So that leads us to the third card here, which is the positive approach to the situation. And that will be the Three of Pentacles. So this card here points us that you do have faithful companions which are willing to help you to go through this. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say really about times because they are not bad times. They are just difficult times. But that difficulty you are experiencing, it is because you know you can traverse your situation into something positive. So you do have a support through your development, either physical or either mental support. Support, mental support. I mean, the people could uh, advise you. People could guide you. The advice and guidance is going to happen usually with the Three of Pentacles through criticism. So people will criticize you. How you could do that? To you, how can you bail off of your marriage? You know, as you have children, for example. Or uh, you did you spend so much time and energy in this job? How you can so easily you know throw it away in the dumpster and so on and so forth? So yeah, you are gonna be criticized if we are talking about a, a mental support. But throughout through this criticism, you are going to be directed into the right path, right destination here. And the only thing that you need to do really is just listen to these people which are criticizing you and extract the positivity out of this uh, of this criticism. Also, uh, when it comes to other people which are involved into the situation, the Three of Pentacles asks you to lead those meaningful conversations. Meaning, you know, if I give, if we give the example once again, that your marriage is on the rock. Um, <clears throat> how you can fix it with the Three of Pentacles being here. So you do have an insight that you got to fix it. And uh, the insight also involves what needs to be done. Well, with the Three of Pentacles, you got to talk openly with your wife or with your husband, regardless, you know, of what you think and how you think needs, needs to be done. They're going to give you their opinion as well. And through that cumulative opinion of both of you, it is likely that the uh, solution is going to be found. It's just don't give a, a silent treatment. Needless to say here, Three of Pentacles, as Alistair Crowley explained it, it is the ocean of opportunity. There is more than just one way of you to sustain your career, to sustain your marriage, you know, and basically to improve your circumstances, because this is the ultimate goal here, to improve your circumstances in the already existing endeavors and enterprises that you do, that you Capricorns are experiencing. The accompanied card of the Three of Pentacles, that is going to be the Lover's card. And the formation here, it is a, a passive enemies. So it does look like that is going to be quite uncomfortable for you to do so. I mean, to confront, for example, your wife or your husband or your boss or that project with uh, with this formation. But also the um, as a catalyst, the Lover's here deprive you from really deciding uh, walking away once you of course decide to um to start 
improving the situation itself. It's very difficult to explain it, all right? But the more you seek harmony, um, uh, oh, how can I explain it, guys? So I will try to do it that way. I will give myself for an example. I am a guy who does not like to be bothered, all right? And if there is an issue in a situation, and that and I can live with the circumstances of that issue. I simply don't bother to fix that issue. It is because I don't um, I don't want to be you know put under stress. For me, patience. Uh, for me, calmness, freedom, and uh, basically these couple of things are virtues. So, for example, if um, me and my girlfriend, if I do have one, of course, um, fight each other a fight among each other and i can live without her i will not do anything to basically fix that it is because it will just for me it's only going to put additional stress on my system but that is something that you should not do here obviously with these uh, cards i hope that you get what uh, what i'm saying or for example into into career if that project is going into failure you know, and it is too much hassle to fix the project and you can live without that project, you know, not doing anything to, to fix it. And instead, you know, placing yourself into harmonious and comfortable positions. So we are seeing with these cards that uh, for you to manage that, uh, that situation, which appears poignant for you and to traverse it into something positive, it will require from you to be to place yourself into a little bit uncomfortable situation where you are not going to experience harmony all right where uh, you will have to fix as well a lot of problems and so on and so forth but at the end it's gonna pay itself off to me like i said it doesn't worth the hassle but for you it's uh, it's good worth it does it does depend capricorns so uh finally what we do have it is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot and that is the four of cups so uh once you accomplish all that you follow your insights and your mental strength and spiritual strength as well you do what is necessary to improve your circumstances doesn't matter how drastic it does look like and you don't give up on your marriage on your career and so on and so forth the, three, the, the Four of Cups points a couple of things. First is that you uh, are to sit in a good position here, a position of solidity. Uh, usually when one is in the Four of Cups, one uh, kind of like drinks or eats the fruits of their labor. The thing with the Four of Cups, is, however, is that a further improvement can be exerted, but one needs to have additional mental clarity in order to do so. In the sense of that, uh, if I have to give you an example for such a situation, you fix your marriage, all right? So your marriage is kind of like um, transcending into its original state where everything is in harmony in it. But uh, with the Four of Cups, you can achieve even bigger results, even bigger harmony. So what we are seeing here, Capricorns, is that at the end of the week, based on your efforts here, as you follow your insights, you are going to um, secure yourself into this situation. But the situation can be improved even further. It all comes to that how ready you are to... Uh, even puts it into a greater risk. It's not even a greater risk, but you to do even bigger risky moves here and more drastic measures in order to uh, in order to improve it. With the Four of Cups, one eats the fruits of its la of their labor, but these fruits are to uh, are to end, and that's why one should seek a additional opportunities to improve their situation. Because you are going to find yourself in a good position at the end of the week, maybe you will not want to move. Okay, which is unadvisable with this card. I mean, you always need to be on guard or aware that there is even a, a better opportunities which are around you. The accompanied card that is going to be the Fool here and the formation is a passive neutrals. So uh, with the Fool, it does look like that you will have to take the, the this very, very seriously, what you have achieved, you know, and you need to give it meaning for the future. I mean, it, it should not be, how can I place it, in vain. Okay, so you will always need to aim for a improvement. Uh, 
the uh, how can I place it? Well, with these cards, guys, basically uh, what they say is that at the end of the week, you are going to find that you don't need anything more while you need it. It's, it, it, it is kind of like a contradictory here. But let's say that you fix your marriage and uh, you're in a really good spot now. You're loving each other. You're showing that love and you're finding in a very good uh, environment, very harmonious environment and so on and so forth. And what happens is that one gets stuck into it and that is what you should not allow, but you will always constantly need to seek um, improvement, buy a bigger home, you know, or, or go to a vacation and so on and so forth. Same goes regarding, uh, same goes regarding career, but with the four on a uh, neutral position, it does point that you should not change the situation to a point where it is uh, unrecognizable. Okay, that will not be taken uh, very well. And uh, that being said, whatever idea you do have, it always needs to be shared as well and asked for opinion with the others which are involved in the situation as well. The communication here, it is the virtue that is going to help you secure your position. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8th to April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, as a general reading, is going to relate and um, <clears throat> to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Capricorn. But if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you uh, what is going to happen with it in the future or to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!